BP Eastern Creek. You've all seen it before. You know where it is. There's something come out uh, on Monday. And it was on Facebook. I actually got form informed today because I talked to a manager here that uh, no bobtails will be allowed to park at the BP anymore. Now, as you got that from a manager, I'd imagine he was a manager. So we're actually parked up over here around the corner now. Didn't want to move today. But uh, have to make alternative arrangements on uh, where we're going to park. Now I've been informed, talking to him, that you must have a trailer to park there. And this has been in place for quite a while but now they're starting to enforce it. So that's going to be a little bit difficult for parking in the Eastern Creek area. There's not too much parking, street parking. But uh, that seems to be what they want. So uh, we found alternative parking, but you're not at a park. He actually went around and knocked on doors of drivers that were sleeping. I uh, don't think he managed to wake anybody, but uh, all that no standing area in the driveway, it'll probably be off limits. They're actually gonna make parking up this way. But in the future, don't know when it's coming about. But uh, yeah, in the future, you'll have to have a BP card to actually park there. And really it's only two hour parking. So you'll have to park in designated areas. So I guess that's what, I don't know, all BPs are gonna do this, I'm not sure. Could be just a management here. But uh, that's what's going on here. Uh, I'll just make this a quick video. There has been a lot of comments on Facebook about it. Um, they said they were going to get the council in and uh, find people. The police have been around and it's private property. What can the council and the police do? I don't think the police are going to wake up drivers. Give them to move on. I guess if they get complaints from the BP management, they can actually uh, get them to move on, I guess. But uh, that's the situation. Don't put stickers on cars for ones that park overnight leave their cars here during the day that won't be allowed anymore at the moment we're just parked behind tolls in the side street uh, we can park where we are at the moment but uh, there is some uh, no stopping along here so we'll just do this for the day and then we'll work out what we're going to do after that so it won't be uh, too bad. Quite a few trailers parked down here. Well, they're waiting for loads, I guess. Probably out of toll. I think toll parks a lot of their trailers down here. Um, so the council probably wouldn't say too much to tolls if they're parking trailers. 
loaded out tonight. But this is the street we're down. See the tolls depot there. Trucks coming and going. So I don't know what they're using in the city. I'll probably lose quite a few customers, but uh, definitely no parking for more than two hours at the BP and Eastern Creek. I don't know if you've got a trailer with it. when they get the BP card. You have to swap it in. At least it's a nice day. Went for a bit of a walk. Let's see how things go there. We're actually hiding behind that NQX trailer down the street there, so stay there for the day and see what happens. All right, it's only a short video, but I'll leave it there. Just get your comments on. Uh, on the situation at the BP see what your thoughts are I have a feeling they're going to lose a lot of customers but uh, time will tell I suppose they'll lose them initially but then they'll come back so but that's the uh, steer property they're entitled to do what they want with it so we'll, uh, we'll get some rest and hook up our trailers tonight. Alright, catch you later guys.